Johnny Russell, I'm 50-50 Shemulka for Glenshee Trust in Whakamaru in the South Waikato Central Plateau-ish region. We're currently milking 620 cows. When we changed from the competitor's product to FIL products, we found our teat sprays definitely were better. We had better teat condition. Also, the support with the dairy hygiene side of things was there and we definitely had a better focus on, on keeping that plant clean. We use Teat Shield Active for our teat spray on this farm here. The reason why we changed to that is no, Manuka honey. It's got great healing properties in it and I've also used it on myself, Manuka honey, just to heal sores and wounds. We use the Active Teat Conditioner just to make sure we're getting that health. I like to do things once and do them right, so we're trying to do everything we can to make sure we've, we're achieving that. Our asset we're using Quantum Red, which is a low foam acid, and with our alkali washes we're using Quantum Powder. We also put in a little dab of uh, C3 in, in there as well, just to make sure we're really giving it a good kick in the guts. FIL has taught me that even though it comes at a cost, it's worth it and savings will be had in the long run. And also, there's all sorts of environmental stuff with FIL taking recycling of the drums and stuff. So environment's a big thing and farmers are really at the front of that and get a hard time, but we're doing our best to make sure and I think FIL's doing that too. Also, FIL products, I mean, they're made in Taronga, so it's, it's a local product and we all should be flying that flag a little bit higher, especially after COVID and things like that. It's, it's good, let's support New Zealand. Coming into using FIL products, I sort of perceived it as all being much of a muchness, but after using it for 12 months, I feel like we've got a superior product. My advice to people who are looking at trying FIL products is just call your rep, get someone in to look at the costings and, and what they've got to offer you because we're in a changing environment and you've got to weigh up all your options and you've got to look at things, things all the time as business owners.